We're looking at the sleep tight weather view of 36th Street along Quincy, where you can see the heat just coming up from the pavement right here in our view. So that pavement's not used to it this summer. No, it's been a cool summer, but not today. We have ourselves temperatures in the 90s. We have humidity levels that are well, very uncomfortable out there, and as you go outside today, you say, my goodness gracious, it is indeed summertime here in the tri-states, and this right here will prove it to you. Look at that. 90s and 80s sprinkled all across the tri-states from Fort Madison out to Jacksonville and back west to Kirksville. It feels pretty much not so good out there. How about that? Not so fun. You know, it is, uh, it is nice to have a little summertime weather, but this is oppressive stuff. 90 degrees in Quincy and sunshine. That's okay, but this is not. How about that? 100 degrees is what it feels like outside when you factor in the humidity. 102 up in Fort Madison and Keokuk, and it feels like 105 degrees outside in Jacksonville, Illinois currently. So we're going to keep these heat index values up there, and we are looking at them to come back roaring back again tomorrow. We'll start out tomorrow morning feeling like the middle 70s across all the tri-states, but by afternoon with the heat increasing, the sunshine Partly cloudy skies anyway. We'll see temperatures warm into the 90s once again and heat index values once again back up over 100 degrees. So get ready for the heat wave to continue. We have heat alerts in the form of advisories for Cass, Morgan, and Scott counties in Illinois and Audrain County down in Missouri in effect for the next several days, I do believe. Now across the region, the heat wave will extend on through the weekend. Heat index values anywhere from 100 to 110 degrees. That will be what it feels like outside each afternoon. And oh yes, by the way, today was the hottest day of the year here in Quincy. We hit 91 degrees. The earlier reading of 90 degrees was set back in June three different times, but we got to 91 finally today, making it the hottest day of the year. 90 degrees currently out at the airport here in Quincy with sunshine. The winds, they're lighting out of the south-southwest. That dew point, it's way up there at 75 degrees, indicating a whole lot of moisture here in the air mass. Now, it's hot, it's humid. We've got a south-southwest wind bringing in some of that heat and moisture up across Missouri into Illinois and southeastern Iowa. Later tonight, we'll see a cool front try and work its way down. It's not going to bring us much in the way of any rain chances or much in the way of any cooler air. It's slightly cooler up to the north in the 80s from Des Moines back to Moline, but south of that front, 90 here in Quincy, 95 in Springfield, 94 in Kansas City, 95 over in St. Louis as well. The ring of fire, how about that? Well, that's a very important factor to our weather pattern. It's a big area of high pressure at many different levels. The atmosphere all the way up about six miles into the atmosphere, and it's a large area of sinking air, but of hot air. And uh, as we go through the next few days, any thunderstorm chances will be deflected over the northern edge of that ring of fire, if you will, this big warm air mass. We will be kept dry. Any storm uh, systems will be deflected away from the tri-states, and we will enjoy, if you will, I use that term loosely, a warm fetch of air coming in out of the south-southwest that will bring us the heat and the humidity and not too much else. 75 degrees for a low tonight. A slim storm chance on through the wee hours of the morning. Otherwise, we'll look for winds out of the southwest 5 to 15 and a very muggy feel out there as well. Partly cloudy for tomorrow. Dry weather, hot and humid. 92 for a high heat index readings around 105 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Then the next seven days will show the similar weather conditions continuing on into your Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the mid-90s by Sunday with those heat index values once again soaring. So it's going to continue to be quite uncomfortable, quite sticky out there. Chances of rain, though, back on Monday and Tuesday as the front comes down again across the region. Could bring us slightly cooler air by midweek. Otherwise, showers and storm chances will be limited, but in the forecast next week as well. Today, the hottest day of the summer. Did you guys enjoy it? I did. I went swimming. Well, I wouldn't say enjoyed, but I was outdoors for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, some <laughs> folks do enjoy this kind of weather, believe it or not, but uh, not me so much. Right. Chris Thanks. Dewar enjoys it. 